Angel Fist being fist by an angel. This movie is uh, stars uh, Kat Sassoon, uh, which is a world karate North American uh, champion. So there is some legitimacy to Kat Sassoon in this film. The movie is a basic revenge plot, and the revenge plot of uh, the character played by Kat Sassoon, which I think she plays a character named Kat, which is kind of like, 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 oh, we, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't think of a name, Kat, so can you play the character of Kat? Kat avenges her sister's death by uh, figuring out who killed her, right? And by figuring out who killed her, it, she will be taken on a journey which involves uh, how I would say an underground kickboxing tournament which apparently that happens quite a bit in uh, this era's movies. It, it has a great cover with uh, this amazing um, that, that kick right there that's, that's, that's choice. Uh, it's set in the Philippines, and in, in this era of uh, Roger Corman films, he filmed a lot in the Philippines to get more uh, bang for his buck. Uh, the Philippines was uh, a little bit cheaper, or a lot cheaper, than uh, filming these low-budget films in America. Um, also, you know, he, they, he, he had an established um, relationship with the Philippines, so he could, you know, have a lot of the same crew members and stuff. They all worked on these... Uh, Z-grade uh, action movies. There are multiple shower sequences for no, no real reason, just to show off the ladies and uh, her physique. Um, there's also an amazing uh, fighting sequence where uh, she's basically naked, like she just got out of the shower. Now she has to fight naked against ninjas. With uh, ex exploitation films, uh, how they sold the movies was either with a with a tagline or just an idea and a lot of times they surprise you because when you're watching one of these exploit exploitation films um, they always surprise you there's always something uh, there's always a scene that just makes you be like holy shit like I've never seen that before exploitation films back then though they had nothing to go on other than this pretty box and a awkward kick you know <laughs> uh, a tagline and like hope Hoping that you in the video store will, will pick up this movie and flip it over, read the back, and be like, this is the movie I want to watch tonight. And uh, there, like I said, there's always a surprise. And that is shit I think about.